Yeah, I mean, this is called the Flower of Life. Do you, you wear this? this? Uh, well, I don't know. I know it's a mandala yeah. because you can get... This isn't a mandala. Mandalas are like up here uh, on the painting. That's my friend Rachel, she did that. But this is um, Flower of Life. It starts off with um, something to this. This is, a, this is the seed of life. And then you have even smaller. Basically, it's like the same structure. Patterns like yeah, but that in together. in this pattern, you can see um, there are dots. There's like dot to dot of like cubes of of geometric shapes. Um, uh, you know, octahedron, etc., hexagons, and it's all in there. And this is like the basic structure of of life. It's why they call it the flower of life. So it starts off with the seed of life, which. Originally, this starts off with two round circles, like in an egg, when uh, a sperm fertilizes the egg, it separates into two, and then it goes into, I think, four or five and more. So this is like the second or third part of it, and it gets bigger and bigger, so it's like infinite. But in this structure is, they say that if you go down to the cells and atoms, you see similar structures like this, and it's been a really... It's just more geometric, it was like yeah. these sort of shapes. But even that you see in there because you have the you, you have the circles. All the geometry is in the flower of life. It's what creates like life. Um, I don't I know a little bit about it, but not a lot. But it's been a really ancient symbol uh, around thousands and thousands of years. And like you know meditators in you know in Buddhism etc. Tibet and India they've seen this structure for many many years. And those that are artistic. You say you're not artistic, but if you were to draw what you see you would probably end up with similar things that you draw. And there's people who I'm sure who have no interest in spirituality and stuff, for example, but they see these visions and they're painting and they end up from, oh, okay, you're painting geometry because <laughs> it's the structure of life, you know? Geometric. Yeah. yeah sure. It's very beautiful. I mean, it's not just geometry, it's also fractals as well. If you know much about fractals, if you look yeah. at trees, the branches at the bottom, exactly the same as they get to the top. Um, the Fibonacci spiral and stuff, like stuff in your ear is like the same length of your elbow and things. It's, it's all mathematics, we're all about numbers. And that's what uh, Nikola Tesla was really fascinated about. Mm -hmm. Three, six and nines and um, numbers close to that. Oh, in Costa Rica, we were traveling about. First place we came to, we stayed number three. Second place was number six. Third place, or fourth, we came to number nine and the guy's like, oh, sorry, upside down, number six. <laughs> <laughs> and then we end up in number 13. And it's like you add those together, you get, you, uh, sorry, 12, you get like um, you know, three, you know. So it's adding things together. So already it's like life is divided in sequences, uh, mathematics. It's, uh, you know, maths, numbers is the language of, of the universe, really. And the same with geometry. We've 